Joan Rivers, comedian, author, actress, playwright, screenwriter, motion picture director, nightclub headliner, and television talk show hostess. Last January, she lost a syndicate. She launched a syndicated show called Guess What? Can We Shop? Com <laughs> combining celebrity interviews and home shopping, she's also in a very serious moment has a new movie called Tears and Laughter. It is about her husband, Edgar's suicide. It airs on NBC on May 15th. It co-stars also her daughter, Melissa. Joan is also co-authored and is starring in the new Broadway play, Sally Marr and Her Escort. It's about an extraordinary stand-up comic who is also Lenny Bruce's mother, and I'm always happy to have Joan Rivers here. Welcome. Great. And I'm always happy to see you. You certainly are. And <laughs> it's great to see you. I don't why are you doing all this? I mean, why are you doing Can We Shop other than it make millions of dollars? And what do you sh sell on this show? Well, Can We Shop is a brand new form and I'm the first one to do it. Yes. And that intrigued me because we went in to do a first shopping talk show. No one quite knew how to do it. Nobody ever It's like being Steve Allen when yeah. the late night sto started. So the fun of it is we're figuring out how to do it, and that's great fun. Nobody can say, we don't do it that way. Nobody knows. Yeah. Tell me about what it is that makes QVC go. What is it that makes it a phenomenon? That it's a, and it is a phenomenon. Well, it took nine years to educate yeah. people about it. Um, people can stay home. They get to know the host. They become friends with the host, and they get to trust the host. And when the host says, this is pretty, or this bracelet is good, they believe it and they buy and they get very good value. Yeah, and, but what's the deal for you on the QVC thing? Do you, you design the stuff? Oh, yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> hands on, honey. <laughs> hands on. Joni knows how to make a buck. I just, they came to me four years ago and they said, do you want to do jewelry? And I thought, yeah. jewelry? Yeah. And then when I look back, though, I had been uh, designing and drawing all my life. So, yeah. uh, and it took to it like a duck to water. And, and QVC is one of the partners in Can We Shop, right? QVC, and, Tribune, yes. and somebody else. And uh, yes, and a third company. All right. Sally Marr and Sally her Marr. escort. Sally Marr was Lenny Bruce's mother. Mother, and incredible. Who was she? I mean, other than she Lenny Bruce's She was mother. the ultimate survivor. Yeah. She was a woman who brought up a boy alone before you could, a single parent. Yeah. She worked. She did everything. She taught at 51. She taught strippers how to strip. She brought him up, she took care of him, she watched him go, and she kept on going, and she's incredible, incredible part. Yeah, you knew Lenny Bruce, or did I you, never you met him? Didn't he come down to watch you at the bitter end when you were a mere tot? A tot, and <laughs> bombing, yes. and he let, sent me a note saying, you're right, they're wrong. And I kept that note, that was when he you was- You believed a, it, too. Honey, that went into my bra <laughs> and stayed there <laughs> for three years. Yeah. And then when I hit on the Carson show, he sent me a telegram saying, I told you so, Lenny Bruce. And that just, because he, from my generation, which is George Carlin and Richard Pryor and um, all that group, he was the God for us. He was the one yeah. we all aspired because? to be. Because? Because he spoke the truth yeah. and still does. I will get into a cab and I'll play his tapes and the cab driver will laugh. Yeah. And then Jeremy will say, who is that? And I'll go, it's Lenny Bruce. They don't know who he is. They don't know it's 30 is years old. Is there anybody like him today? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Uh, but he opened the door for us. Yeah. He opened the door for Robin Williams and and me and, and Lily and uh, everybody, you know, on and on and on. Tell me now about the movie on NBC. Yeah, Tears uh, and Laughter. Tears and Laughter, yeah. You and Melissa both Melissa. have been nominated for, or at least the movie will be nominated for, for an Emmy. And they, they just yeah. told NBC us. NBC will ask that it be nominated. Yeah. And, and they submitted us for right, uh, Emmys right, today. Right. Tell me about it. I mean, it, was it hard for you to do this? Is it a catharsis? It How do you deal with a subject that you and I have talked about a number yeah. of times for live audiences in, in a television interview, the most traumatic experience of your about, life? Well, we deal with the aftermath of the suicide and what it does to a family and how it absolutely destroys a family. It's like glass. It just crackles the glass. And how do you get back together? A subject that no one continues to talk about. I was in Vancouver for a month on the set. And yeah. all we dealt with was suicide, suicide, suicide. The last day, my standing came to me and said, my father killed himself. And mm -hmm. I thought, that's why we're doing this yeah. movie. We're the first people yeah. ever to tackle that subject. Yeah, Kurt Cobain you know, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, it, it's so prevalent, and no one discusses well, it. Talk to us about it. I mean, what did you learn about it, and what did you know? What does this movie tell us about the it, other than the story of your life? tells you what happens to people who get depressed who get depressed who break away who strike out at the wrong things what they do to themselves melissa went into an abusive relationship because she says at one point the only thing i could feel was the physical pain i mean it, it was mm. it's incredible she was numbed by the suicide totally numbed 
fooling them, could feel nothing, and actually had to feel that. Were you too... And I was manic. I was crazy. You know, I was Sally, social butterfly. And blaming yourself. Totally. He, you outgrew that. Yes. And at the end of the movie, it's more than just suicide. It's also mother-daughter breaking away and coming back together. A lot of relationship. It's a real woman's movie. How did you two come back together? I mean, what, what was the first? I guess the question is, why were you estranged in the first place, well, mother he, and daughter? Because she thought I did it. I thought I did it. Uh, I mourned totally. It's also a story about mourning. Everybody mourns differently. And nobody mourns the same way. Nobody's correct and nobody's wrong. And she was furious with me because I was going out. I was never home. I would go home, go to sleep in my clothes. I just went. Could not be alone in the house. And she was thinking I was the, you know, the happy widow. Yeah, she was thinking you were impervious to right. her pain and, and, and you Which were showing her gross disregard right. for, for and, his pain. Exactly. And she, on the other hand, I thought just had clammed up and totally went inward and there was no, no, no reaching out for me at all. So it's very interesting. It deals a lot of subjects nobody's dealt with before and that's why we wanted to do the movie. You are amazing to me in that you, <laughs> you are. You're still here. <laughs> That's right. You're you, still around. You're sitting up. <laughs> you're sitting and talking. And talking. And eating real meat still. Yes. <laughs> and going out. I mean, my yeah. God, you're supposed to be in a home somewhere. I know. <laughs> no. Oh, go on. Oh, go on. Tell me more. Tell me more good news. <laughs> but, you amaze me because you don't, I mean, I want to, I, I, bear with me. Richard Nixon was a survivor. Yes. He knocked down, he'd get up. Knocked down, get up. He moved forward in his life. I yes. assume there's nothing you two had in common except the will to come back and the will to continue and to do what you thought you knew how to do. Exactly. Yes. Speak to me about and what it is drives Joan Rivers. Just because it's really, I don't think, the bastards ain't gonna get me. I swear. <laughs> That's truly what it was. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. You're not leaving. Cancel my show, but I'll do something else. You're I'll come up with right. a better show. And you'll come up with a better yeah. show. Cancel this. Tell me nobody cares, and I'll go to Broadway. Because, and, and Sally's a survivor. My, I mean, this woman, everything. Pregnant on her wedding night, left on her wedding night, all true. Mm -hmm. Son deserts her at 16. When the sun finally hits. Would you see something in her that reminds totally. you of yourself? Oh, yes. This is a woman. The audience identifies totally. The audience goes out going, this is the ultimate survivor. And yeah. she's 86. She's been, she was raped at 82. That's where the play, oh, yeah, play starts. Oh, yeah, that story, yeah. Raped and still up there and teaching a comedy class. And this is also... Ultimate survivor. Yeah, it also comes full circle, though, because didn't Edgar have something to do with this? Edgar started... Uh, I was looking for a simple one-woman show. It's now turned to a full-fledged right. Broadway play with a band on stage. Yeah. I mean, it's a, and Edgar, we met Sally in Vegas, and he said, what spunk, what energy, you know, to be there and just still tapping through life. And we started to do a one-woman show, and the original tapes is all based on her tapes. Edgar's voice is on it. And that, when I first reheard, I thought, my God, it's Edgar's idea. It's Edgar's idea. Yeah. You think you'll ever remarry? I hope. You do? Yeah, I hope. I don't know. Any good I, men out there? No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I remarry. I certainly would like to be with somebody. I miss yeah, that terribly. The, the sense of companion. A, yeah. a, but a real friend. Was he, what was he for you? I mean, obviously he was your husband, yeah. But I mean, he was a strong he, part he, of... He was did my dirty work. It's wonderful. You could be just... Yeah, he could be your SOB. He was my SOB. He well, was the one and said, one, Joe, oh, <laughs> you don't want to be... Joe, uh, the dressing room is too small, or, uh, you know, I'm being petty now. The contract is wrong. Apps, you won't sign it. He did it. Now I have to walk in and say, I won't sign it. I won't go on. You can't find another SOB you to work can, for can, but he was it's wonderful. Yeah. Nobody cared. You, like, you never... Nobody you, cared yes, that way. You never doubted that he was there for you. Never right. doubted he was there for me. It's hard to find somebody that doesn't have their own agenda and something they want to be doing, yeah. and, and they're doing it yeah, not mean, for you, but for them. I have a wonderful manager now, Dorothy Melvin, who is as close to that yeah. as can be. But even Dorothy, she's a woman, she's a person, you know, she's got to have... Yeah. A, a, also, you can't expect her to feel that way. Yeah. And you and Melissa are back, like, yeah, very this close. is like 
you know, no problems, nothing. It, it, you speak to each other. And, Daily, and, 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 and things are very... You have a up. capacity if you have a problem to speak I'll to I'll tell it. you one thing. When we start together in the movie, yeah. I said, you'll never get another leading lady who says, let her have the close-up. <laughs> <laughs> let her take the... I'll take the wide shot with the, said, in the shadows. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Melissa? You will never get this again, ever. <laughs> It's great to see you. It's great to see always. you. Uh, you look terrific. You really do, but you know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing two shows a day on Broadway, it's, it, but it's great. And don't forget, can we shop? And can we shop? <laughs> and there's probably a book there somewhere. And, then the, and the jewelry. And, and God the jewelry. <laughs> Thank you so Keep much. Keep it up. Thank you. Joan Rivers. We'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> <laughs>